Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the GP Knives update number 152. Start this week taking a look at the Benchmade Autofact. Not going to go too in depth on this as I do have an overview up on the channel. This is a new black class auto, and it's got a blade of CPM S90V, billet aluminum handles with carbon fiber inlays, and of course, it is an axis lock automatic. So you can see nice snappy deployment there. We've got a few of these left in stock and you can check out that overview up on the channel now. Also newly in stock are the Spartan Blades bronze field grade knives, the William Harsey designed Talos that you see here, and the Les George designed Aster on the left here. They've both got tumbled CTS XHP blades. And you can get the Talos in coarse OD green or black G10. Both are liner locks with oiled bronze washer pivots, dual thumb studs, and deep carry clips. Right hand only on the Talos here, and then reversible on the Aster. And the Aster is available with a peel ply carbon fiber over black G10 or the same OD green G10 that you saw on the Talos. So great designs from Spartan Blades in their field grade line. And you can see overviews of both of those knives up on the channel now as well. And we have a few new offerings from Spyderco. We have two new colors of the Spyderco Rhodey. A great Italian made slip joint knife from Spider Co. We've got a dark brown and an OD green. And otherwise, the design remains the same. This is a great little slip joint for EDC and for carry in restricted areas. I have one of these and I carry it often. It's a great design that offers a full forefinger grip with a nice stout blade that is capable of a variety of tasks. You've got a full height flat grind, Bowler's N690 CO, a nice serviceable stainless steel for daily carry. The double divot opener. So you can see you've got two divots on the blade for two hand operation. Full finger choil there and a nice hole for lanyard attachment. And this is great for a shirt pocket or fifth pocket carry. We've also got new Spyderco Salt 2s in LC200N. Here you can see the Warncliffe blade in plain edge. We've got all four variations. So they all have a Delica 4 style handle that is linerless. You can see it's got internal structure molded into it. No liners. Black coated hardware and backspacer. As well as the four position clip. And we've got these in plain and serrated on both the Warncliffe and drop point blade profiles. So great option for an ultralight carry. These are going to be great for summertime carry as well. LC200N offers a high level of corrosion resistance, similar to that of H1. And it's going to have better edge retention in the plain edge and pretty good toughness as well. So a great all around balance of performance there in a highly stainless steel. And here on the right, we have the Hinderer XM three inch, great EDC size for the Hinderer line. This is the Skinner style blade with battle black finish on the blade and titanium frame lock. Triway pivot system. So it comes equipped with a ball bearing pivot, but can be switched to either phosphor bronze or nylon washers. And then you've got the hardened steel lock face insert as well. Open back construction with black spacers on the battle black variants. And we've got a CPM 20 CV blade steel. Similar to M390, you're going to get excellent edge retention and corrosion resistance. We've got a few different colorways of this. And we also have replacement titanium scales from Hinderer in all six of the different finishes we've got a battle bronze finish 
So this is the blasted and tumbled and bronze anodized. We have working finish or stone washed plain titanium and then stone washed or battle blue and bronze as well. So great option if you're looking for an upgrade for your handle scale. And these are going to be for the Hinderer XM 3 inch. Next, we have a new Jesper Voxnase design out the side automatic from Boker Plus. This is the Boker Karakurt, and it is inspired by the European Black Widow Spider. We've got a clip point blade of 154 cm, a nice high saber grind and a full length swedge there. These are actually made by Hogue here in the USA. You've got hard anodized aluminum for the handles in a semi-open construction, reversible stainless steel deep carry clip, and button lock operation. These have a nice strong spring, and you can see they're very snappy. And as with most Vox designs, got a nice simple and ergonomic handle with some stepped milling that gives it a nice contoured feel and some aesthetic appeal. And we've got two variations of this, the stonewashed version with gray button and pivot and a matching tumbled clip and then an all black version as well. So a nice high quality design with a simple and utilitarian feel and great US build quality there. So if you are a fan of high quality Hogue autos, or Jesper Voxnay's designs, or both, the Boker Plus Karakurt is going to be a great option there. And last but not least, we have the new Ultimate Kitchen Set from Smith & Sons. I'm going to go ahead and grab the other two pieces. We've got the paring knife on the table already. We have a boning and fillet knife here in the center. And then a Santoku knife here on the right. So between these three knives, you can cover pretty much everything you need to do in the kitchen. Take a look at the Santoku here. We've got a blade of AEBL stainless steel. So you've got a great high hardness, high toughness, corrosion resistant steel. It has a nice fine grain structure. It takes a very fine razor like edge and has actually been used as a razor blade steel in the past. The Santoku is a nice versatile knife, great for chopping and slicing. This set has rich light for the handle scales. So this is a proprietary paper-based laminate similar to a paper micarta. A nice striking look there with an almost wood-like grain. And it is going to be a great material for use in the kitchen as it is very durable and essentially impervious to any moisture that you're going to come in contact with. So great all around set there. You've got the Santoku here. You've got a paring knife with a very contoured and ergonomic handle, nice thin blade. So you're going to be able to get a lot of control for fine work on this. And then the boning and fillet knife kind of bridges the gap between the two, does have a semi-flexible blade, and we've got two different versions of the set. We've got the rich light that you see here, and then also a burlap micarta for the handles on the other set. I almost forgot, we have coming soon Shire Post Mint Pizzas of Eight, as well as pizza worry coins in the standard and burnt finishes and this is the pizzas of eight it's a breakable copper coin breaks into eight pieces or you can leave it solid and it comes in its own little mini pizza box for storage and display so sign up for email notification these are very limited and will only be available while supplies last. 
Again, this is Tyler with your GP Knives update number 152. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media via the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel and like the video below. And follow us for updates on all new products and releases.